hello guys welcome to yet another video today we are going to be talking about ccp as a cast the castnet as a castnet course and um we are going to be talking about ccp and what do we mean by ccp so ccp stands for credit certified credit credit professionals certified credit professionals so and uh, it's offered as a certificate course that is examined by by CASNEB and uh, a certificate of completion is always issued upon completion of this course and uh, so what are the entry requirements you want to do ccp what are some of the entry requirements that you are needed to have number one you need to have a kcsc examination in the aggregate average point of c plus so you need to have a c plus in your kcsc you need to have kenya advanced certificate of education that is CASE, with at least two principal passes provided with the applicant has credits in mathematics and english at kenya certificate of education kce level or equivalent qualification uh, a CASNEP technician diploma or professional examination certificate, a degree from a recognized university, an international general certificate of secondary education that is IGSE, IGCSE, examination uh, grade C in six papers with C in both English and mathematics, such other certificate or diplomas as may be approved by CASNEP. So if you have any of these, you are accredited or you are eligible to do a, a CCP course with us. So this uh, CCP course will take you six months and the, and the mode of delivery is online. And um, so you find that what are some of the units that we'll be learning? We'll be learning about uh, paper number one. We'll be dealing with credit management. Paper number two. We'll dealing with we'll be dealing with communication and customer relations. And then paper number three, you'll learn about introduction to law and governance. So it has three papers. So we have said that Finsock University College offers this this course as a six month online program examined by Finstock University College. And then after you have finished, you are given a certificate. And then these programs now will prepare you for the CCP exams prepared externally by case by CASNEB. So after passing the CASNEB's exam, that, that is when you'd be able to get the CCP certification. So, and some of the skills that you get once you do this course, number one is you'll be able to manage the credit cycle of trade credit product providers. Number two, you'll be able to manage credit risk for different entities. And then number three, you'll be able to do uh, to undertake credit analysis for the various corporate entities. And then number four, you'll be able to undertake debit collect debt collection in a professional manner you'll be able to take debts in a collection you'll be able to take debt collection in a professional manner and then number and another thing you'll be able to do is that you'll be able to comply with various region uh, requirements in debt management including governance including ethical legal and regulatory requirements so we have already said what are some of the things that you need the section the requirement you need to have is a kcac c plus you need to have a CASE, a CASE certificate with, with two principal passes provided that the applicant has credits in mathematics and English at KC, uh, K, Kenya Certificate of Education, KCE level. And then you maybe CASNEP technician, diploma of professional examination. We have already said this. So we have said that the mode of delivery is online where you take these classes via Google Meet or Zoom. And we have instruction materials that will be given to you to guide you as you take the CCP course. And one of the career opportunities, if you do this course, what are some of the career opportunities that you can do? Number one, you can be a credit analyst, you can be a debt and recovery manager, you can be a corporate lender, and other areas uh, and other related areas in both formal and informal sectors. So, uh, so why should you really study this course? Number one, you'll gain knowledge on managing credit cycle for credit providers and financial institutions. Number two, you'll learn about applying the principles of law and legal system in an entity and ensuring compliance with basic principles of governance and ethics. And then number three, you'll be able to gain knowledge on applying business communication, customer uh, relations and personal skills requiring credit management professional. So this is a course that someone should really consider doing. And if you consider doing it online, do it at Finstock University College, where you get certified at the completion of the course. So you visit their website at www.finstockuniversity.com or call them at 0703-313-722 or send them an email at info at finstockuniversity.com. Make sure at the end of this video you like, comment, subscribe, share, hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video, you can always be notified. Until next time, goodbye.